members of his team were there to greet Santis as she was escorted home for her Christmas surprise. We found a elderly person that we believe needed assistance for the Christmas holidays. And we came to Miss Santos' house and when we came we saw the, the situation that she was living in. Um, she's the only one that stays here. Um, but the, the bedding, the, the way how the house was set up and things. While it was clean, um, we wanted to do something a little bit more for her during the Christmas holidays. So our community policing officers went to work um, with the good assistance of our secretary who um, contacted um, PAD, which is Pan American Development Fund, and they decided to assist us um, to help out Ms. Santos. Ms. Santos is, uh, is 97 years old, 93 years old to be exact, and um, she has been here for over 30 years living at this location. And what we did was give the, in the interior of the home a little face facelift. Um, we painted up, put some curtains up, um, gave her new marley for the floor, along with the hampers that was received from Pan American Development Fund, um, which is also in collaboration with the Taiwanese Embassy. The, the, one of the young men who passed through one of the trainings that they did is responsible to come and ensure that he chopped the yard for her on a regular basis and then we will continue to work with them. We do not have the resources to sustain something like this but there is a lot of businesses out there, organizations, the, the Belize Defense Force, we have um, NGOs um, that are out there that can assist in these endeavors. Um, we can find a location, we can look for people that need assistance but we would definitely need persons out there who would want to assist and put that extra pound or to put something towards it to help develop our area, not only assist within the location that we're in, but develop the area that we are in.